Welcome to our 40th Python tutorial. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be covering unary operators. Now I'm going to write this one out because I'm not too sure I'm pronouncing it correctly, but that's it. And what it does is they're used to find something that isn't like something else. So the, probably the best way to show you this is to actually illustrate it. And the first one we'll take a look at is this little squiggly line. Um, you find it just above the tab t key, and you need to hold down shift to use it. And if we hit it four now, we get negative five. So, why does this happen? Now, this is probably best illustrated through a binary. Um, firstly, we'll get four. There we go. Now, what we'll do is we'll do in and then we'll get four. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a different look here. So what happens here is that we've got a nice little inversion inversion of bits. So one's become zero and vice versa. So what we need to do is we need to take a look at this little equation to just explain it. So the little squiggly line n is equal to negative n take away 1. So in this case we put a 4 in so 4 here is equal to 4, four take away 1 which winds up being negative 5. So that's all we're going to cover on that particular note. Now there's a few others that we can cover here. Um, firstly I want you to do x is equal to 10 and y is equal to negative 2. So the, other, the next one that we're going to cover is we're just going to cover the takeaway sign or negative. So if we do negative x we get 10 but if we do negative, negative y we get positive 2. So essentially what we're saying is we're saying um, y is equal to and actually we'll do a different variable, t is equal to negative um, brackets and then negative 2, which ends up being just a 2. So that's pretty simple now. Another and probably a last unary operator that we're going to, well that there is, uh, we're just going to talk about now and it's, it's very simple. It is simply the plus sign. Now this is well rather stupid because we don't actually need it because if we do um, okay y is negative we know y is negative 2 so if we do positive 2 or positive y we wind up with negative 2 because essentially what we're saying is that we'll use t as an example again t is equal to um, plus Oh, um, negative 2 which will be if we times the negative by a positive we get a negative if we times a positive by a positive we get a positive and if we times a negative by a negative we get a positive but a negative times a positive is always going to be a negative so the reason why they included the plus sign is it's just for the completeness of the language and essentially all it does is say that the value that we put we want to be original we don't want it to be changed so with a plus x we get 10 because we're not changing anything it's just going to leave it as is and I don't think there's much use for it really well I haven't come across it but anyway if you have um, send me a message I'd like to know where you use it most Otherwise, um, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe.